Hello, this is Town 4004 and Minecraft's next major update for After the Caves and Cliffs Part 2 has been revealed. This is Minecraft News and I will go over what has been revealed at Minecraft Live today for the next major update. The Wild Update. So the first thing that was revealed was that the Warden and the whole Deep Dark idea is now going to be not in the Caves and Cliffs update, it is going to be moved to this wild update. Adding on to what we know about the Deep Dark is it will now have a brand new structure which is a abandoned city underground with skulk all over it made out of the new Deep Slate stuff. Taking a look a bit closer at some of the new blocks and items for the skulk, here we have the Skulk Shrieker. This will make a loud noise and if you disturb it enough, the warden will spawn, and the warden can come out of the walls and stuff, you just don't know where the warden will appear. This is how the warden is going to come to be in the deep dark, is by if you disturb the skulk shrieker too many times and make it shriek enough, the warden will come. We also learned about this upper block a bit as well, the Skulk Catalyst. This block, if you kill any mob nearby it, it will spread and grow the Skulk, any type of Skulk block nearby. And as King B Dogs had said during the live event, if you put this next to a mob farm, this Skulk box can store up XP. And when you break them and get their blocks with a hoe, you will be able to reobtain that XP through the Skulk blocks. So the other part of the update is they want to revamp some biomes. And the main biome that they had shown at the Minecraft Live was the Swamp Biome. Having a lot of stuff from the biome vote from in the past Minecons. And this has some of that stuff and it's pretty cool. So let's take a look. Like the original Swamp Update had, you can now have boats and chests, and it is coming, so rather if you decide to use it or not, they'll be good for the rivers, and the boats and chests will be quite nice. Next up for the Swamp Biome, we have mangrove trees with their roots and stuff in the water. This is a plantable tree in water. This mangrove tree will be in a new biome, the mangrove forest, in the swamp. And it will also contain a new wood type, which is pretty close to what we have with the jungle wood. And if you noticed, you can make mud, and this mud will make mud bricks. This can be a new block you can use. And if you put this mud on top of a dripstone, it'll drip down and you will be able to get renewable clay from watering dirt and then putting it on top of dripstone. But you can't have a mangrove and swamp update without having cute little frogs. You can now find frogs, and there will also be little tadpoles. You can take these tadpoles from the swamp, and you can bring them to different biomes. Depending on the biome that they grow up in is what type of frog they will look like. There is a few different types, like a tropical and winter e frog. And as we wrap up what was all announced at Minecon, yes, the LA did win the mob vote. It will be able to go around and give grab items that are dropped around on the ground via the item that you give it to find. And also, it loves note blocks and music. And with that, that was the majority of what was revealed at the Minecraft Live for Minecraft itself. There was a whole lot of Minecraft dungeons, things, and a lot of other awesome stuff, but this is for the core game of Minecraft, what was announced for the Wild Update. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you enjoyed, and for now, this is Hound4004 saying goodbye.